Expecting Sebastian to be online. He's not online. He, he's not online as yet. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna go ahead and pick up exactly from where we left off today, right? As we have to finish building our website, All right? So that you guys could program a little web design. Those two components, right? So today. We're going to be taking a look at CSS and we're going to be taking a look at, at jQuery, okay? All right, to see how we handle images on our website. Guys, you have your computer fired up. You all open up the website that we left off yesterday, right? We're going to continue now to work on that website and Uh, All right, so Sebastian is online. Yeah, Sebastian is on. All right, so Sebastian, please confirm that you hear me properly and you can see the screen, right? 
Yes. Everyone in class of us is saying hi. Hello. <laughs> All right. So, uh, guys, right? We left off right here yesterday, right? So we're gonna continue to work on this. You all remember that we have a text file. So go ahead, minimize and text file is gonna be right here on the desktop. So you're gonna right click on it and we wanna go to open with notepad. You all remember that? So when we open with notepad, guys, the notepad is gonna come up, okay? And so everybody should have the notepad open. Very good. All right, so I'm going to pull the notepad on the share screen so everybody can see. All right, everybody can see that notepad. That's, this is what it looks like, right? So this is what we left off yesterday, right? So we want to continue from there, right? A company, we must have right a message to put our website so that the potentially website they could see all that information. I Sebastian, the, the connection is a little bad, so bear with us, right? So the next step, we would like to put in, right, information about ourselves. And we have an example with uh, the Trini Bajam Elections Commission, right? This is the example that we were using yesterday, right? So we want to put an about us. Okay, guys, you all remember that? We're going to put an about us so that people can see what we're about, right? And our intention to sell them the Rubik's Cube. Right? It's not, not coming on? All right. Just wait a minute. Just give it a chance to load. Mm -hmm. All right, so you come to our it? Everybody's not on that 
screen, right? And we are ready to continue, right guys? All right, so what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up our next tag, right? We're gonna call this tag the H2 tag, right? Ready? So we type in H2, you wanna see it guys? Right, and remember when you open a tag, we must close the tag, right? So we're gonna go ahead and close that tag immediately, right? Now inside the tag is where we're gonna write our information. And this information is the history of our company. So we're gonna write company history, right guys? And we want this information to be in the center of the screen, right? Save it, you can see the asterisk is one to be the center of the screen, right? So we'll have to wrap this in a center tag, right? Center, like that, guys, you'll see that? Yeah. Very good. All so right, center, right? And we're wrapping this whole thing in a center tag, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it from outside, guys. Right. So the entire each is gonna be wrapped in a center tag. So we deleted it from here. And we go in and we. Right? So if we save now, and we reload, it's now in the center of the screen, guys. You see that? Everyone is just up, sure. What's going on with you guys? The computer playing up? Sebastian, yeah, you made that. Your, your micro, Sebastian, your microphone is muted. You have to unmute your microphone so that we can hear you. Right, we could hear you now. I said, Russian, did, did you are right. right, very good. All right, so next step, guys. All right, so that is the heading. So H here means heading, right? All right, that's what H means. It's different headings, right? So this first one on top here, which was H1, is like the biggest heading. All right, guys? So now we use H2 for a smaller heading, right? And now we're gonna have to put the information here about the history of our company. So remember, we decided we're doing this yesterday, right? Okay? So we're gonna say this is the one, right? The kids summer camp, right? We're gonna, we're gonna say this is the kids summer camp, right? Uh, Ru Ru Rubik's Cube company, right? And we're going to give them the location of the camp, okay? All right, so to do that, guys, we need to use the Peter. Stop, right? let so me stop. The short for paragraph. I'm going to come on this okay. side. Right? Then we're going to open up the tag, right? Just like that. Now, remember, guys, when you open that tag, we must close it immediately. So that is the volume of paragraph. You want to write a paragraph there, right? Yes. So you want to say our company, right? Yes, it's computer school, right? So our com company has been in business since yesterday, right? Yes, my bedroom. It's my bedroom. Right. I have been in business since yesterday, right guys? So 
Sir, I am not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. So... You're not seeing, you're not seeing the screen? You're not seeing the notepad on the screen? No. All right. Uh, Sebastian is saying he's not seeing the notepad on the screen. So we're going to try to see if we can fix that. I guess he shares video. Yeah, All right, you seeing it now, Sebastian? No. All right, you seeing the notepad? No. It should be shared, right? Uh, Mike, that one. You see that one? Very good. All right, that's wonderful. Right? So, what we did, we centered, right? Just type in something about the company, right? And we want to finish that. Right? right? We're going to write that. We are located in the vibrant. Only one supposition. All right, so we are located in the vibrant city of Marabella. Okay. Guys, everyone finish right in that? Great. Yeah, we close the key right here. All right, so we open and we close. So this the, the, this second key is, is different from the first one, right? So I'm just going to create a distinction between the two so that you guys can see, right? <laughs> Don't tell them the back location. You see my okay? Okay. All right. So the last thing we're gonna tell, we're gonna say, all right, guys. So we're gonna speak that, right? And we close in it as well, right? We wanna close it, and then inside here, the last thing we're gonna tell them is that, right? Very good. All right. Modern, fully computerized, right? Rubik's cubes, right? That's what we do. I remember we decided that that's what we're going to do yesterday, right? Like this. All right, so if we save that, right? So go file, save, you'll see the asterisk goes, right? And if we mm -hmm. click on the page and reload it, we're going to see all that information. So you can see the information that is there is not, is not bold, right? You all seeing that, guys? It's not bold, right? And it's not centered on the screen either. Okay, but fortunately we could do something, right? So we want to go back to the notepad, right? And to make everything bold, we just have to wrap it, right? In bold tag. So let's show you guys what the bold tag look, look like, right? So the all the H's, yeah. All right, so we're gonna click enter, and here we're gonna set up a bold tab. You all see it? So it looks like that. 
All right? And then here we're going to close the bolt tag. So everything inside is going to be bold. Right? So you're going to do that. And when we reload the page, voila, everything is now bold. You're seeing it? Right, everything is bold. Finish? Yeah, then through you type in everything. Yeah. All right, so that's wonderful, right? All right, so. We're going to show, we're going to put on display the different types, right? Of Rubik's cubes that we have for sale. All right? That's what we're going to do now. The code. All right, yeah. All right, so now we need to put on display the different types of cubes that we have for sale, right? So we're going to do that with our next heading. And we're using the H2 heading, right? So we have company history. The next thing that we need to be to display is the different Roblox that we have. Is where we want to write that heading, right? Our custom made Rubik's cube collection, right? All right, guys. So now that's the heading that's that's selling the more different types of mix cube that we're gonna have. Right? So remember we're gonna have one that is light that is light up, right? Right? So the first one we're gonna have is the full LED one, right? Hmm? You have one of those? All right. In picture very good all right so we're gonna have one that light up right we got, we're gonna have one that is programmable okay so we're gonna write the first one on the screen guys you already All right, so we're going to use the H1 tag. So let's write H1, all right? And remember, when we open a tag, we close the tag immediately. So we say H1 and close it immediately. Now, we want to give this an ID. So we're going to go to the left, right? When we open it, and we're going to write ID equals, you're seeing this? ID equals, and then we have the quotation marks, right? And we, oh, that guy is the projector. Right, so we have ID equals, right? So we make it this ID to be equal to LED, right? LED, this is the LED we have, right? And then the heading itself. Gonna be LED Rubik's cube. Okay, guys. That's it, right? All right. So now we need a paragraph to talk about the features. Right. To talk about the features of the LED Rubik's cube. Right. So what can we say about it? Hmm? Right? Each one is a each one is <laughs> right, so each one, right? Uh 
as a LED, right? Each cell has its own LED. If we have to, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna write that in the paragraph here because we're describing the LED, right? So let's save it so that you guys can get some perspective. So look, hold on a sec. <clears throat> I just reload, right? So our custom made Rubik's Cube collection, right? This is what we're talking about, the LED Rubik's Cube. All right, so we're gonna have to give them some information about uh, this Rubik's Cube, right? We're gonna say that as full LED, right? Each cell, right, has its own LED, okay? So that's what we're gonna write about, it, right? So we're gonna say, full LED, Rubik's Cube, all right guys? We're gonna write max 400 nits. All right, that's how bright it gets. All right, so that's what that's what we're gonna have there. No, it might be in our best interest to make this bold. Right, you all know that. If you look at it, if you if you look at the website, I'm gonna go back and reload it. You will see that that information just came here, right? But there's no space between. The company history and you know the, the Rubik's Cube collection that we have, which is the first one, which is the LED Rubik's, right? So here we want to put that this is the first one. LED Rubik's we want to put one, right? To distinguish, right? So you want to update your file and you will see that first one, right? We have the second type, then we have the third type, right? How much types do you have, guys? How much types of Rubik's Cube do you all know? Twenty different types, right? All right, so we're gonna have at least four types that we sell it, right? Or we wanna do three, make it easier for you all, right? Yeah. All right, so we, we might want to add some spaces, right, between the different things, you know, just just to clean it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so here we're talking about the collections. Here we're talking about collections. We want to go ahead and add a HR right here, right? All right, you all could follow that. All right, we're talking about our custom made Rubik's cube, right? We want to want to add a HR. Here. So what the HR does? It creates a separation. Most separation, right? It creates a separation, separating this information from what we was talking about. Okay. Right? Very good. All right. So we have the full LED Rubik's Cube, maximum 400 nits. Now we need a picture of that. Right? So here we're going to go to Google and we're going to see if we can find uh, LED Rubik's Cube, right? All right. Oh, it's spelled with a K, guys. You all see it now? All right, so this one is LED, right? Not this one. This one is really, really good. It's from Amazon. All right, this one here. You can see this one is a full LED thing, right? Yeah. So you want to go back, and we want to click images. All right, that, that allows Google Search Engine to return only images for us. All right? So when you go on the images, we take one of the one that the LED one that we like. What about this one? So that's Bluetooth and so on, right? So we're gonna talk about that one after. So we're gonna talk about this one. We're gonna say this one is the LED one. So what we want to do, remember, guys, save image as. Huh? Yeah. I, I'm just choosing that. You guys can choose the one that you like, right? So you're gonna save image as, and you wanna call it LED. Now notice the extension. Your y'all when you choose a different picture, the ex extension might be different, right? So what we want to do, we want to copy this. So highlight it and press Control C. Now that information has been copied, and bear in mind that you're saving it on the desktop, right? You're saving it on the desktop. So it is now downloaded on the desktop like that. So to add it to our thing, right here, right? All we're doing is on the edge 
Okay, guys. All right, when we talk about the 400 nits, you can come inside if you wish. And we're going to add an image tag, IMG, just like that. So remember we did that before? Look on top. Yeah, we, we did that. We did that yesterday, right? We add an image. Look at the image here. So this was the information about the image. When we do the height, right? So this is the image tag. I'm just going to highlight it for you all to see. So you all knew, right? You all knew about this before today, right? So we're going to write image tag. That's why we have it right here, right? So we have our image tag, right, guys? You all seen it? And then we write the source, SRC. You all made a mistake with this yesterday. SRC is short for source in, in programming, right? Now, remember, we must specify the name of it. So remember, I copied the name from before. So I'm going to press Control V, and look at that. LED with the appropriate extension is now right there. And we could close that, that image tag. And when we reload, right, our website, right, it, it's going to be present. Look at that. Right, so that is the LED one that we have, OK? Right? You, you all might want to put the image on top and the text below. That's OK. So uh, LED. I said, remember, it's image tag. When you open the image tag, right, guys? You want to put SRC. SRC means source. So this is the image tag right here. And I'm going to distinguish it from the rest of the stuff. Right? So this is the image tag here. And all you're doing is writing the source. IMG is the image tag. And you write writing source. And the source is JFIM. Right, you all might have a different extension, right? So you'd have done the steps appropriately and you would have had that already saved in your clipboard to just paste it right in. Right, everybody reach your step. All right, so I'm gonna come around and check on you guys just now, right? So the next thing we're gonna have a next type, right? Right, we must have our next time. Right, so this is our custom data mix collection, right? And we want to put our next HR here, guys. Right, so you all look at this. Right, this is so as to, to just distinguish the heading a little better from the from the body. Right, so this is the heading. You can see that heading is in two, right? Embossed in two lines. Right, so this is our custom collection. Right, we would like to center that tag. Right, you all remember how to center it? Right? All we want to do is to wrap it in our center. Right, guys? I of that H2 as automatic for websites. Yeah? So now we can talk about number two. Right? I just saw a blue two one, right? So we're going to have the blue. One and sale as well. So I come around and see if everybody who have it is Thank 
So the dimension is equal to zero. Yeah, this this is an definition of meaning for right? So we are suffering. All right, so guys, as we were saying, so what we did yesterday, we specified the height and the width, right? So we could confine the image with those properties. So we just copy and paste that. You all see that? All you did was just copy and paste that. Okay? 
control C, highlighted control C, and if we save it and you go back to the image, right? The image is gonna be up of the same size as this one in the corner. This image down here, gonna be that same size. You see it? Both of them is the same size. You see it? Huh? Highlight, you, you, click with the, you click with the mouse, right? Let me show you. Yeah, so you're going on top here, you click the mouse here and you just hold it, hold it down, and then go all the way here, then you press Control C. Right? Number two like that. 
And if we reload the page again, you're going to see the two there, right? So number one, the first one we're selling is the, right? Is the LED one. Then we had the Bluetooth one, right? Now we had seen a Bluetooth one, right? Somewhere here. Pass it. Pass it. This one here. All right, this one have Bluetooth, right? So save image as, okay guys? And we're gonna name it Bluetooth, right? Now we wanna con press Control A. All right, so I'm gonna Control C, right? And we save it on the desktop, don't forget guys. So I'm going back to the code now, okay? Right? So we just saved the Bluetooth one. All right? Now the next thing we want to do is to describe this Bluetooth one, right? With a paragraph. All right, so we're using the paragraph tag. And we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna say this one. Bluetooth 4.0, right? All right, 360 degrees. We are describing it, right? Now, this, this Bluetooth one also have lights in it, right? This Bluetooth one also have LED, right? What do you think? Sebastian <laughs> Sebastian <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> she do? Yeah, yeah, she must say so much. <laughs> All right, so this one also have LED, right? And this one not as bright. So this one is 315 minutes, right? That's what we're going to leave it at. All right, so we just described, right, the Bluetooth Rubik's Cube that we have for sale. Okay, now we need to insert the image, right? So we're doing the same thing, image tag, right? And SRC equals, and we click Control V to put the name of it in. And remember, we need the height and the width that we had above here, right? We need to paste it right there, okay? All right, so now the height and the width is formatted. And if we save that and we reload our page, so voila. All right, so I'm going back. All right, I'm going to leave it here so that you guys can catch yourself a little bit. Right? So remember, the indication on top for the heading, and the heading is number two, this is the second one we have to save.
एवरीबॉडी आपके स्क्रीन ऑल अगेन ओल ऑन बाई सबाशन यू फिनिश नो सर
So everybody should be patched up because I hope I will that everybody will be in order.
right, guys, so everybody should be here, right? Everybody's supposed to be there. So we see LED, right? All right? Let's see, let's see this a robotic one. A robotic Rubik's Cube. Let's see. Yes, there is. Look at that. There is robotic Rubik's Cube, right? Where are this? Robot solves. The robot solving one, right? I'm going to say this. <laughs> right, so I'm going to call it robot. Huh? Just Bluetooth. Robot. Robot.jpg. All right, I'm going to save it on the next one. All right, so now we have the third one, guys. And we're going to put it on our website, right? So you remember everything here? We could go ahead and copy everything here if we wish. All right? We, guys, we copied everything there, right? And we're going to paste it like that. Now remember, this is the robot one. So we're going to change Bluetooth to robot. All right? And this is the robot right? solving Rubik's Cube. So we're going to write robot solving Rubik's Cube, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Sir. Save it as robot. Right? So save image as and save it as robot. Right? Do not in interfere with the extension. Just here we type in robot like that. Right? Not JPG. And you can see we saved it. Going too fast. Very good. Finish here. Eh? What's happening? Right. So when you see the, the robot the Rubik's Cube, right? We created the H1 for the robot. So what you do, everybody, you can copy this, control C, and then you paste it here, control V. And when you do that, remember it's not Bluetooth again, it's robot. So we're gonna change it to robot in all caps. And then here we're gonna say robot solving. Rubik's Cube, you see it? Right, so we have uh, the information about it, right? So we have LEDs, not on this one, so you remove that, right? Right, and we give it that brief description, right? Robotic Rubik's Cube, right? With, with remote up, a remote up, right? That's it. Right. Can I copy that? Let's see. 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 Let's all right, so the next thing we remember is robot.jpg, right? Robot.jpg. All right. So if we go back, guys, no, it doesn't look so good. The reason why it don't look so good is because the aspect ratio has been damaged. This picture needs to be a little bit wider. We're going to increase the width by about 50 pixels, right? Let's try it. Okay? We're going to increase the width here by at least 50 pixels because you can see the aspect ratio is not good. That's why the picture look is pushed. All right? So to fix that up, we're going to go to the width here and we put it 50 here. All right? So we increase the width by 50 pixels. Let's try that again. We're going to reload. Let's see how it looks. Better, right? You see it? So it's easier to see, it's easier on the eyes, right? The situation is not squished, right? It's important what we call a 
aspect ratio. Okay? Preserve the aspect ratio. Huh? Yeah.
as you remember <laughs> guys when we check when we check our website right you see this one say two it's supposed to be saying three right very good baby very good right so the change that where well, we copy and paste the two information into the three position right so let's change this number here this and that's it when we reload the page that's it we have our three different types that we set All right, so we're doing three alone, right? Because I want to get you all to take a look at some CSS, okay? All right, and how we could make things interactive on the screen, all right? jQuery and all that. All right. Mine's again simple? Yeah. Don't know why. Yeah, he's not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, we're going to tell the people, please contact us. Right? We're going to tell them that. We're going to even let them WhatsApp we and things. Okay? When they click there, they go for WhatsApp we one time. No, they will come on your website. And they click and they, 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 they able to WhatsApp us, right? You all ready for that? All right, so at the end of the website, you want to tell them, please contact us, all right, at any time to, 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 to get more information or to make a purchase. That's it. Right? So I want to tell them, Please contact us at any time right, for information or to make a purchase, right? right? Please contact us at any time for information or to make a purchase. You all see that? Now hear this. We want to put our email there. So to put our email there. Yes, sir, I right. Right. So we, we need to put a, a, our email here, right? So that when you click it, it could email, be emailed to us. And to do that, we have to use the A tag. And the A tag allows us to reference any information. Right? So when we start the A tag, we want to finish the A tag right here. Right? So now we close the A tag. And inside here, we can write hreference, which means this is a, a website or a mail to reference to the information we have here. Please contact us. And that is equal to, and this is using the mail to, right? Mail to, right? What's going to be our email? Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Rubik's Cube is our is our domain, right? So we're gonna have a sales at rubikscube.com, right? We're gonna have a sales department. Right. So it's gonna be sales at rubikscube.com, right? That's it. Mail to sales at rubikscube.com. That's it, guys. You all see that? <laughs> guys, when we say that now and we re re reload, check it out. Look at that the bottom now. Anytime and look at showing up, that it's showing up. Look on the right hand side. The information that we put. See it and we see that we're not seeing it. Whenever we click on it now, it opens up the mail app. Right? So the people could email us. Right? <laughs> us. Because it's, it's our thing, right? So this is what comes up. The, 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 the email comes up. Whenever you click that, 
the email comes up. Okay, guys? You see that? No, we can let them WhatsApp us too, eh? Right? Okay? So we're going to put excellent solution, right, for them to WhatsApp us, right? I'm going to show you guys how to create that WhatsApp button. You ready to see that? Any code? All right. I'm going to pull back the code on the screen. I'm going to show you how to even create a WhatsApp button, right? So we're going to say WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's how it is supposed to be. Very good, very good, Chris. That's how it's supposed to be, right? Because the code is working, so we know that's how it's supposed to be. All right. So here we're gonna say, WhatsApp us now okay all right all right so the put in the whatsapp now i'm going to show you guys it's a lot of coding to get the whatsapp to work yeah the whatsapp thing to work right however i'm going to show you guys that it's possible all right I'm going to show you guys that it's possible, right? So to do the WhatsApp thing, we got to wrap it again in our a, a, a. So A, a A tag, right? And then we got to finish the A tag here, which says WhatsApp us now. All right, so we finish the A tag. And inside here, we're going to have href, right? Href friends. And the href friends, remember, equal href, right? Right here. Is we're gonna put the WhatsApp, it's called the WhatsApp API. Okay, that's right. And we're gonna use the WhatsApp API. All right? And we can specify the phone number and everything. Okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. So the WhatsApp API looks like this. No, yeah, with, with too much peace. All right. Right, that's what the WhatsApp API looks like. So it's HTTPS slash slash API WhatsApp.com because WhatsApp have an online thing. Right, and the number, we could put our number here. All that's supposed to come up. So we're going to put our number plus one eight six eight. Right, actually, we're not going to put any plus, right? And the number for excellent situation is 365. 8681. That's excellent solution, right? And there's one thing that is missing. Target is missing. So we write target equals, and here it is. We're going to open on a new page. We're going to put blank. That's the allow it to open a new page. Blank. Like that. So anytime you post, click this link, our WhatsApp link is going to open on a new page. Check it out. What's up now? When you click this, it's going to open on a new page and they're going to get the message excellent solution. Check it out. See it, guys? Yeah. You see it's alone? No yeah. excellent solution. Who is this? That is you guys right here. I can see myself. This is Chris. That's the question. So guys, our website now, when they go to WhatsApp, 